the educational system. All right, the uh, the administration of, of food and drugs. You can't even tell that your food is actual food. That's why it's place known as Babylon the Great, man. All right. So going from there, I want to get the book of uh, Revelations chapter 11. Let's see if I can get it. Uh, lost my place. All right, this is the book of uh, Revelation, chapter 11, and I'm starting at verse 8. It says, uh, In their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. All right. So this place is also known as uh, Sodom and Egypt, man. All right, because like I said before, you can't even tell that uh, a man is a man or a woman is a woman. And also, too, Egypt is synonymous with the house of bondage. All right. And those dead bodies. All right, and which that represents being uh, dead in the spirit. Because if you go to the book of Ezekiel, chapter 37, it speaks about the valley of the dry bones. All right, and which this place, America, is known as the valley of the dry bones because our people don't know who they are. Like I said before, you know, you got these people coming together. And calling themselves Americans. And that's not the, the nationality of these people. All right. Because you have Indian, you know, call themselves Indian Americans, which they're really Elamites, the front of nation of Elam. You have uh, Asian American, right? In which their nationality is either Moab or Ammon. And then you have the Caucasian American, right? Which they, they, they just call themselves Americans in general. They come from the nation of Edom. And then you have African American and Latino American and Native American, which come out of the nation of Israel. Alright, so everyone everyone has their own nationality. And the reason why they have their own nationality is because the Lord wanted that way. He wanted things to be separate. He wanted each nation to have their own lands, their own inheritance. Alright. And that's the way it was set up from the beginning. Every uh, everyone to their own, their own business, and things of that nature. All right, now I'm gonna get the book of Micah chapter three, and um, start at verse uh, start at verse one, and which this uh precept is uh going into these uh pastors. Right, which you know these 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 so-called pastors they don't even tell you that your nationality they, they don't tell you the truth in general because they're paid off. And there's the book of Micah chapter three verse one, and I said here, O I pray you, O heads of Jacob, and ye princes of the house of Israel, is it not for you to know judgment? Who hate the good, and love the evil, who pluck off their skin from off them, and their flesh from off their bones. See. You know they, they they you know they um they revel in being black. You know which black black is void of color, man. All right, when you have black, I mean that means you have no color. And also that that uh that term black means death. All right, in which that's 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 common knowledge, man. All right, so even if they didn't say they were, they were blacks, they they would still call them African Americans, in which they once again. Going back to the scripture where it says uh, they pluck off their skin from off them and their flesh from off their bones. All right. 
stripping them of their identity. Verse three, and this this is this just this uh, just doesn't go to these uh so called pastors. It also goes to these these so called black leaders like uh, Farrakhan and and um especially polite you know the rest of these guys in the black unconscious community. Um, you know these these, these um, prominent figures that tell you that tell you everything else that gives you other other identities other than identity of being a Hebrew Israelite. All right, and it says uh, verse three. It says, "Who also eat the flesh of my people, and flay their skin from off them, and they break their bones and chop them in pieces. As for the pot." And that's for flesh within the cauldron. All right. Now that cauldron is synonymous with the melting pot. All right. Now, uh, if you have a cauldron, you know you basically have a big pot of, uh, and you can just throw whatever whatever um, ingredient you want into that pot, and you mix it up. And that makes a, a certain a certain type of uh, product or a certain type of uh, substance. So you're taking all these all these ingredients, all these these uh, different ingredients, and you throw them into one pot and you mix them all together, and and then you make something new out of it. That's the same thing with you know you got different peoples coming into this melting pot, which is known as America, and labeling themselves as Americans, which makes that 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 new identity. All right. And let's see if I can find another uh, precept. Actually, I, you know, at first I wanted to make this a series. Um, no, Lord willing. But I believe that's that's it on that um, concerning this topic. Of uh, America being uh, in synonymous with uh, Babylon the Great, or it, it is in fact Babylon the Great, should I say? Because, like I said before, you know, it's, it's plenty, plenty of evidence and plenty of precepts in the in the Bible that tells you that this place is indeed Babylon the Great. All right, because guess what? Even if they uh these guys that that said Babylon's already destroyed, well, Babylon is is um the actual Babylon, you know, the physical Babylon is, is actually over in uh modern day Iraq. Alright. And was Iraq completely destroyed? No, it's still there. Alright. That's what you have to ask yourself. Is Babylon actually destroyed? And you'll, you'll come to the conclusion that it's not destroyed because Iraq is still there. So what is this scripture talking about? About the destruction of Babylon the Great. That's why you have to have your uh, your spiritual eyes open, man. All right. And only through the spirit of Yahweh about Shimei that that's that's even possible. All right. Now I'm going to go from there. I'm going to get the book of... Um, Ezekiel chapter 37 and um start of verse 1 it says the hand of Yahweh Bashimi al was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of Yahweh Bashimi al and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones and caused me to pass by them round about and behold there were very many in the open valley and lo they were very dry and he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord, power thou knowest. Again he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of you, how about Shemuel Shine? That's exactly what we do when we go on the houses and byways. O ye dry bones, hear the word of you, how about Shemuel Shine? So we speak the words of you, how about Shemuel Shine to our people. All right? This ties right along with. Uh, the dead bodies lying in the streets of the great city, which is called spiritually called Sodom in Egypt. 
All right. That's why that's why I said in the scriptures said, can these bones live? And the answer is uh, yes, but only certain of those bones can live. All right. And that's going into the one hundred and forty four thousand of the nation of Israel, which is twelve thousand out of each tribe of Israel, along with the one third. All right, those are the bones that they can live, but the rest of the bones, um, they can't live. They're gonna remain being bones until the very end. All right. Now, verse uh, five: Thus saith the Lord, power unto these bones. Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and you shall live. So, that breath is talking about this knowledge, man. Which is life And which This also pertains unto The uh, the tree of life Because The opposite of life is death Alright In which Life Pertains unto the knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Yashai Which pertains unto The commandments The laws and the statutes And death Is the complete opposite of life in which that's going against the law says commandments of the Heavenly Father. Okay. So that's the breath. Because if a person's not breathing, then guess what? They're dead, man. All right. Now, verse 6 it says, And I will lay sinews upon you, and will bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin. And put breath in you, and ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. All right. So there, there it is, man. It says I'm gonna give you your nationality, and you and you will live, and you will live. All right. Now verse seven says, so I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, a shaking, and the bones came together. Bone to his bone, and when I behold, when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came upon them, and the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. All right, so that goes into the person that you know he may know that he's a Hebrew Israelite. I'm gonna give you an example like Kendrick Lamar, um, Kodak Black, and uh, the rest of the other guys that know that they're Hebrew Israelites, even the ones that's in the um, entertainment world. In the sports world, they know that they're Hebrew Israelites. But guess what? There's no breath in them. Guys that call themselves Hebrew Israelites, uh, that um, I give an example, like groups like IUIC, ISUPK, they call themselves Hebrew Israelites, but do they have the breath? No, they don't. All right? In which that breath falls falls back on uh, Yahweh Shai. Because if you don't have Yahweh Shai, then you don't have the breath. All right? Because Yahweh Shai is that bread of life. All right, which leads to salvation. Okay? So all the all these things that speaks about life is uh ties in with each other. Alright. So this is concerning Yahweh Shai, man. Alright. Like I said before, Yahweh Shai is life. Alright? Now verse 9 said, Then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind. Prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus saith the Lord power, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived, and stood up upon their feet, an exceeding great army. All right, and that's what you're seeing right now. I mean, you're seeing men that came back into their nationality, and they're standing upon their feet. All right. And it's an exceeding great army. Verse 11 said, Then he said unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say our bones are dried and our hope is lost. We are cut off for our parts. All right. And that's uh, pretty much it on that, man. Um, this valley, this valley is known as the valley of the dry bones. This is also known as the valley of the shadow of death. All right. Everywhere you turn is death. Any anything that you get into in this in this place called Babylon the Great is death. 
All right. And the only way out of it is through Yahweh Shai. Okay. So with that, that pretty much hits the point. Uh, Lord willing, man, like, I, Lord willing, I didn't get too far off topic, but you know, all this, all this is is in one subject, man. All right. But um, you know, Spirit had me to go to Ezekiel thirty-seven, just to uh, bring out the part about the bones. All right. And which this place known as Babylon the Great, which is America, is full of bones. All right. And we prophesy unto the bones so that it can come together and the flesh come upon them so they know that they're Israelites. That's one of the reasons why we out there to uh, tell our people their true nationality. And also gives them the knowledge, which is the breath. All right. So with that, Lord willing, y'all can be edified with this video. Uh, Till next time, once again. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahushai, and double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that continue to rule very well, and peace and safety to the whole feet lake that's uh, continually doing his work, head strong, man, uh, that's continually plowing to the, um, until Yahushai comes back, and with that, I'm going to say Shalom.